Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So previously on the channel, quite some time ago, I posted a video letting you know about a flag that is available called Enhance Text Contrast. Now this flag is available in both the stable version of Microsoft Edge and also the preview versions of Microsoft Edge, which basically um, renders text using the same contrast and gamma settings that are used elsewhere in Windows. And it basically just, as the flag says, enhances the text contrast in the browser. Now, just to let you know um, that over and above that enhance text contrast flag being available, in Edge Canary version 117, which is now the latest preview version, there are now two flags that can be used now when enabled to improve the text contrast in the desktop browser and in the Edge Canary browser. Now, as always, um, if we want to head over to the experimental flags page, we just enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags into the address bar. And to bring up the first flag, we're just going to type in enhance, as I have mentioned this previously on the channel. So here's the first, enhance text contrast. And obviously, I have that already enabled in Edge Canary. Now, the next flag, which is very similar, for this to, to bring up both flags, we're just going to type in contrast. And there we go. So here's the first flag, enhance text contrast. And here's the new flag, use clear type contrast and gamma settings. And the description is very similar to um, the original flag, so to speak, renders text using the same contrast and gamma settings that are used elsewhere in Windows. And you need to run the clear type text tuner to adjust the contrast and gamma settings uh, for your monitor. Now, the only difference really that I can see at this stage between the two flags is this, where the first says this setting also enables an alternate contrast calculation formula. And this new flag says this setting does not enable an alternate contrast calculation formula. So although the flags are very similar, and that's the only difference I can see at this stage between the flags, and it's strange that Microsoft has, in, has made two flags that are so similar available where they haven't just bundled everything into the one flag. Now, just to break this down just a little bit, and um, because both say they render text using the same contrast and gamma settings. Now, contrast, in case you're unaware what contrast is, contrast is the difference between the highest and lowest intensity value of the image. So that's just a brief breakdown of what contrast is all about. And gamma or gamma settings, to break that down, uh, gamma settings, lower gamma makes shadows look brighter and can result in a flatter washed out image where it's harder to see brighter highlights and higher gamma can make it harder to see details in shadow. So that's just a brief breakdown of what that terminology and those two terms, contrast and gamma, are all about. And obviously, if you want to um, enhance... Um, and improve the text contrast uh, in the uh, Edge Canary browser. Obviously, you would just change that to enabled, and then you would restart uh, Edge Canary version 117 to apply both of those flags, and now both those enhanced text contrast and use clear type contrast and gamma settings are enabled, and hopefully then after enabling those two flags, you should see a difference when it comes to improving the text contrast compared to how it, uh, how it currently is over in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. And I thought that was interesting and just wanted to throw it out there as I know a lot of you do um, like to fiddle around with experimental flags in Edge Canary. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.